To this day, there are 98 million infected worldwide, as well as 2 million deaths from COVID-19. The vaccine is still under investigation, with no arrival date. Too much is happening, and I don't even know how the disease is transmitted. I'm going to search about COVID-19 transmission. Why does the WHO and other official websites have a low impact, and why are social media profiles of people who are not even healthcare workers so well accepted? I can't believe that there is so much information on the internet. Should I create my own way to inform? No, maybe that excess of information does nothing but misinform the people. But why is it that people prefer to go for the type of sources that lead to misinformation? We had the same question some months ago. That is why we conducted a mixed method cross-sectional study in which perception of COVID-19 related information presented in both official and unofficial media was evaluated by three parameters, reliability, understandability, and accessibility. To do so, we designed an instrument with multiple choice and open-ended questions, as well as quantitative items using five-point Likert scales. After our research, we found that 81 participants believed that it was more critical, trust, than understandability and accessibility. 74 participants expressed that official sources were the preferred option because they are trustworthy and more understandable. Official sources are perceived as the most trustworthy, and non-official sources are more accessible and understandable. These results help me clarify my doubts. Maybe healthcare professionals can serve as a bridge between official sources and the population. Maybe we can make official information more visible, or even explain it to the people. I believe that this research can be used to adapt current strategies related to health promotion and thus be able to bring good quality information to the entire population. It may be the beginning of cracking the code to deliver information effectively.